Hi, this is me Vizekandal and today I'm going to show you how you can use delegates in iOS application to make your life a little bit easier. Uh, so this is a sample application that I've drawn out of the box. It's as, it, as simple as it can get. So going back into the storyboard, now I want to have a custom um, UI view so let me create that custom ui view so i do file <coughs> new file and i say the user interface so i say you view now i'm gonna say this is my view that's the simple name so it's not a, as big as the app screen so i'm gonna downsize it let's keep the height to 100 points so what this view will have is a button and a level so that's it we have a button we say test delegate so these are the two things that we have and let me create a ui view subclass associated with this view so i'm going to objective c class and I'm going to be subclassing UI view so let me create this as my view or any other my custom view let's say custom view so let's create that <coughs> and now we want to link custom view with my view so how do we do we select it, this custom view in the storyboard and go to custom class and say custom view that's it the class is linked now we want to split this screen and choose this item and now we want to have an IB outlet for label and test delegate so let's drag this thing not in the header file let's go to the, um, the implementations so let's drag it say user clicked and let's also put this label oh i do not have the interface so let's leave the label for right now we are only interested here we file a delegate when this is called so um, we want the users to create this view when they first come like allocate it but we want to do it with another class method so I'm gonna say this is custom view it returns so I'm gonna say prepare view so that's it let's implement that thing prepare view and all this is going to do is it's gonna create a custom view and we're gonna return that custom view from the new file so we go to ns bundle take the main bundle that's the application main sandbox and we want to load new files load new named and our new name is my view so i'm going to say my view without the dot xiv and let's put this to nil and nil and it's going to it is going to return an array where we know we have one item so to be sure we say we get the last object and that's it so now we do want to introspect it because we might get another thing as well so what i'm going to do is if cv is kind of class and we say custom view class that is just checking double checking if the NIF file is associated with custom view class and if it is we want to return uh, ourselves that is CV if not return nil and let the user know something went wrong so this is our preparation so let's add in the uh, custom controller view, view controller so I'm going to do in view load I'm going to say so let's first import it import 
that was custom viewed at that's good let's say custom view cv equals to custom view we can do alloc in it but i'm gonna do new that's the same thing as doing the default alloc and in it so i'm gonna say no i'm, I'm not going to do yeah that's good prepare view that's going to return the prepared cv class so that's it and we want to add this to our self dot view so add solve view so we're going to say cv and that's it <coughs> and i think that's pretty much so let's test it early on so we must get a blank screen with that two button label and a button so we get it but this is not working so what i want to do is if someone taps on this button i do not want my custom view to handle it but i want my view controller to handle it so we are trying to pass the message just as the user taps to the on that button which is associated with custom view to view our view controller and we do that using delegates and so a delegate is simply a way to say two classes can pass messages with each other like it's like a delegate in real life you can also think of delegate as girlfriend asking boyfriend for something to be done and there, there might be many things but some might be required and some might be optional so let's create a delegate first so i'm going to say objective c protocol and i'm saying my delegate so that's the simple name i can give so as soon as I create that it only creates dot at file because it's just a protocol it does not do things by itself if you are coming from Java it's the same or it's analogous to interface you only put what methods should be implemented by the sub inherited classes so you say I'm gonna say required and I'm gonna say optional so these are the way we can require things and we can put things optional so i'm gonna say say mm, i have a beautiful method here saying say hello and this is required but i have a method here mm, uh, let's say bark that's optional so i created my delegate but i have to tell this custom view that it is following the delegate so I'm going to import delegate my delegate <coughs> and let me do that on the interface so I say my delegate at and let me create a public property property which is non-atomic and make sure it's weak always if you are turning on ARC so it's type of ID and it's a protocol of my delegate and we say delegate as simple as that so we assigned a pro property by importing our delegate and we can pass method to this delegate and any classes that is in head that is obligating to this delegate protocol will use our cost uh, optional and required method as per the liking so let's get down to this section and if someone clicks this IB action is gonna get fired and when this is gonna gonna get fired we are we are going to set our delegate and we say say hello because we've declared that and now it's the work of this delegate to implement say hello it's not the work of dot h or dot m files so this is transferring work like a girlfriend asking a boyfriend to do something but we don't know who the boyfriend is so now let's get back into the view controller and make this uh, class implement to that protocol so we we say we this class implements to that protocol by typing my delegate in angle brackets so i've got a warning here so this says say hello must be implemented because that was required 
so I say say hello and I get a cool sense now I go get inside and I'm gonna do a simple NS log so oh, this is hello from controller via delegate so this is that simple now let me now we are missing one thing because we want this CV custom view custom views delegate to be this class so we say that by going CV dot we know that CV has delegate property so we set it to be ourselves so if this CV refers to custom view and it has a property because we set it just before and if we set that to ourselves then everything custom view passes we have to implement it and it's our responsibility to act responsibly and follow the rules so let's let me run this application so I'm here if I say test delegate I must see a NS log hello from controller via delegate so this is the simple delegate you choose two classes and you want one class to a favor from another class by acting as a delegate so hope that makes sense